Orioles here on MLB The Show. So as you can see here, we're about to begin a game against the uh, Oakland A's, jumping, up, jumping into the sixth inning, down by a run, and the Orioles are a surprising 6-5 and five to start the year. We'll be taking over in the top of the sixth inning. Dylan Bundy will start, or is the starter, for the Orioles. So jerks and Profar is at the plate. Lead off for Oakland, the second baseman, Jerickson. He says he wants a fastball up, but I'm going to give him a fastball up and in, which just misses for ball one. And how about Chris Davis? Finally snapping his hitless streak. He got at least two hits today. He got a two-run single and a double. I think he got another RBI there as well. Ball left outside. Come on. And swing and a miss. Strike three. Meanwhile, it's Oakland that is struggling in this season in this game I mean not in real life they're they've only got five wins it's five and ten and am I about to get a one two three inning let's see I think I am. Piece of cake. Now time to get some runs. Leading off for the Orioles, the second baseman, Hogsar. Just meanwhile, I've turned off the PCI in. I'm still using zone hitting, but I've turned off the PCI. Has anybody else do that? Because. And I've heard some people say that it actually helps you see the ball better. If anybody, if anybody has a, has any opinions there, feel and I'm actually curious to to actually hear what people have to say about that, if anything. All right, man, see me. Hit it hard, but. To the deepest part of the ballpark, and now I don't think that would have been a home run anywhere. But Trumbo. all right, Trumbo. Yeah, another one. Two hits, or two hit balls with decent contact, with solid contact, but they're both fly balls. Let's see, who do I got warmed up in the bullpen? Araujo and Yagabonis. Let's see, in the... Uh, Orioles did beat the Red Sox in that game. I'm on the ESPN app on my phone right now. Let's let's see. Did, did Davis get any more hits? I know we got at least two. Let's see if we got any more. Just as soon as I throw this this slider, uh, he got a, he got three hits and four RBIs. This is probably going to be the last inning that I put, uh, that I used Bundy. I don't know what it is, but every time there's a fly ball, I get nervous and that I might overrun it, and sometimes it doesn't happen very often, but I get close a lot of times. You know, maybe there's some kind of 
secret to making sure that the that the outfielder gets there in time. All right, Bunny, you pitched solid. And what on earth? Let's see. Ah, we'll let it. We'll let this guy bat, and then we'll pinch hit Chris Davis in the. Uh... And then see what happens. Because. If we're gonna bring in a common hit, have a common hitter hit, we might as well use one with power. Your attention, please. In hitting for the Orioles, number 19, Chris Davis. Ah, that's that's the kind of hits that Chris, the kind of ad results that Chris Davis had earlier in the year, you know. There were a couple of games recently where he's been putting good swings on the ball, but they just didn't find a hole. That's a ball. Actually, you know what? There we go. I don't know why those... There's some weird managerial decisions that have been made in this mode. There's a few things that need work in this series. I mean, in this in this game mode. I'm sure I'm going to address them in a uh, in a wish list video at some point. Probably sometime in the next early next month because I've heard somewhere that's actually the best time to uh, to make wish list videos because that's around the time they get started on the ne on the next game for next year. All right, and now it's time for substitutions. We're gonna. Taken care of. Let's bring in the left-hander. Now, since all three of these guys hit better against Rays than against lefties. Low strike is. Am I ever going to get that call? Asking you shall receive. It says, how about Matt Olson asks for a seat on the bench. There we go. He's got it. The of the dedicated hitter. Chris. Chris. I've held him hit less than when I wasn't so far. One and two. That's ball two. Two two pitch on the way. Ball, 
<sighs> That's gonna give away the advantage. Houston Pro Far, the better the start of this game. As soon as I took over, at least. Here he comes. Strike! Let's try this one more time. I want to do the, do the Sandlot thing when Hamilton says, Strike three, you're out, before the guy even starts swinging. Alas, alack. The Orioles. <sighs> I mean, sir, honestly, who are some of these guys anyway? I don't even... I don't even recognize some of their names. Is that gonna... is Just over his head. Let's see, substitutions. Yeah. I don't even know why he's not in the game or why he wasn't even in the game already. Number two. Castro. Miguel. Castro. This game for the Orioles. Not playing second base. Number two. Since that, since I at least am somewhat familiar with 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 him, unlike Fry. The catcher, number three. Nick Hundley. Even though he's doesn't have particularly good numbers. Wants to sink her down and away. Down and in. Accidentally give him down and away. It's an out. Oh. Now batter. Number 22. Ball. Count 1 and 0. Oh. Hey. Oh, 
All right, time to get a run. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Well, this is strange. Number 16. They've taken out the hindrance. They put they had they had the closer in to get the last out of the eighth inning, but now they bring in somebody else. Ah. Now batting the designated hitter. Got that I can guess pitch. Been playing a lot of those moments lately, and there's no guess pitch option there. Davis, now that you... Now I have to deal with negative momentum. Just because of... Let's see. Get the shutout to spike morale. Well, this should... Let's see if we can get... If I can get this one. I'm a decent pitcher. And since we've muted commentary, no need to do this little intro, but I know what the objective is. Have to get a shutout. Okay, now don't want to throw the ball up. Just like that, it's over. A shutout, at least. Are you up for a six out save, Mike? Now pitching for the Orioles. Number 60. Michael Gibbon. on deck. I want to be facing J.D. Martinez with two on. Even though this guy can kill right-handed pitches if you aren't careful. J.D. 
JD Martinez can kill any kind of pitch if you aren't careful. And I will at least escape, escape with the lead. Let's see if I can get that run right back. Leading off for the Orioles, the designated hitter, Mark Trumbo. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can. Ah, too early. Is this today's game? I think it might be. Because I know the Orioles wear the orange jerseys on Saturday games. Which looks kind of strange when they wear them with on the road with the with the dark undershirts. You know, speaking of which, I always thought the Orioles would look really good if they wore orange undershirts and stock undershirts and socks in games instead of black. At least at home games. I think that would look a lot better. Anyone else think that? I don't swing at that. Can we work the count back to two and two? And the pitch fouled off. And he's throwing everything down in this at bat, so let's look there. It is down. Now that's why I'm early. He only throws like upper 80s. Come on, he's stupid. That's another thing I wish this game did. They. Who's this? Rio Ruiz. Yeah, we're definitely bringing in. Please. Bringing in a right hander. Renato. Remember, upper 80s is the fastball speed. Otherwise, they're just going to be early at every thing. Let's see if we got an a right-handed hitting outfielder on the bench. Yeah, we're doing that. Number 23, Joey Ricker. Because there's definitely no need. <sighs> well, even if I win this game, this has been a bad offensive showing in both games. Leading just got just got take this one slow and methodically and by that I really mean slow and deliberately Okay. 
Big strikeout. The batter, number two, Tristan Dander. And now two outs. Now batting, third baseman, Raphael Dander. Count one and oh. One more. One more. Nope. Count is two and one. Slider. Ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And we got him. Didn't get the win, or well, get the shutout, but a win is a win, and I'll take it. So maybe we'll get some of that positive momentum back. There we go. That looks so much better. Perform well for a season-long boost. Well, we'll get to that one in the next update, which hopefully will come tomorrow. Thank you once again for joining me on this on this playthrough. So one more. It says, if you like what you see, subscribe, like. All that is welcome.